Hello traders, this is Wednesday, I'm Shlomo Cooper and we are with a short video to give you every piece of information you need to have ahead of the opening bell today. Right, they, they say give a man a hammer and everything around seems like a nail and how true is that, especially for the birds in our market? every little decline even if it's with the lowest volume of the year as we had here on the daily chart of the S&P 500 or as we had here on Monday and the hope is injected to the bears that finally the top of the market is in process but the truth of, of the matter is that any brief pause in our never-ending bull cycle is just a great way for the market to take a little refreshment and set the stage for another leg up. And that is exactly what happened yesterday on Tuesday. The S&P 500, this is the SPY, the ETF that tracks the S&P 500 on a five minutes chart, started the day off with a gap up, as you can see here. Um, the bears tried to gain control from the beginning and fade the gap, but the minute the gap got closed, actually almost closed here around noon. The bulls took things in their hands and with a U-turn, the S&P 500 finished up 0.31% and investors are happy this eight-year bull market just keep going. The only fear in this market is the fear of missing out. A couple of stocks that attracted attention yesterday, first of all Walmart WMT on the 5 minutes chart was the best performing stock in the Dow Jones and drove it uh, to fresh all time highs after unveiling a 20 billion dollar share buyback, wow investors just love to hear this sort of news and forecasting US online sh sales would rise by about 40% in the next year. The company also said it plans to add 1,000 online grocery pickup locations at its US stores in 2019. Now, that was enough to send WMT to fresh two and a half years high. Of course, this is the kind of news that was press pressuring shares, shares of Amazon. Let's take a look on Amazon. AMZN that actually started with a gap up, closed the gap and went into a red territory, finished down 0.4%. There was some momentum to be found in Chinese stocks. Um, Baidu, B-I-D-U, broke up to fresh all-time highs. This is a great movement on the daily chart from Baidu, actually a great movement uh, since the start of the year in 2017. Also a great movement uh, in the intraday action. Baba continued its journey to the stratosphere. The airlines attracted some attention after encouraging third quarter forecasts. So we saw American Airlines, AAL, was up almost 5% and on the daily chart, it's just on its way to the high of the year around 54.30. Also, uh, UAL uh, was strong. The earnings season is going to start today with Delta Airlines. Another play from the airlines uh, to open its books ahead of the start. So of course it's going to be on our screen uh, on our screens today. On Thursday we have a couple of big banks like J.P. Morgan and uh, Bank of America. All in all, S&P 500 third quarter earnings are expected to grow 4% on a year-over-year -year basis, and that may serve um, as a good catalyst to push the S&P 500 even higher. Usually you have to understand that the earnings season is a good period for the market and, and we are going to talk more about it as it unfolds. All right, trade of the day and that was an easy one. An easy one especially um, if you learned with us and have a little experience in the stock market. Now this is ANIB that I'm referring to and I'll just switch to the one um, minute chart. This is a stock that more than doubled its price uh, yesterday. So let's start with uh, the one minute chart. We recognized NAAB ahead of the start. It was jumping in the pre-market about 45% 
that way above all other stocks and uh, that, that was a reaction to news of positive results from a phase two clinical trial now I'm not a doctor or a chemist or a chemist and actually you know I couldn't care less why the stock is going up all I want to know as a trader is that there is a fundamental reason for the excitement around the stock and that tells me already in the morning early in the going that lots of institutional money and funds are going to chase this play and I'll be able to exploit my relative advantage as individual trader who needs to buy only a couple of hundreds of shares this is what we are talking about and that's what keeps me nifty and nimble in this game against them against the big money against the big sharks in the market after the after putting the stock on on the chart it's just a matter of timing so following the stock on a one minute chart um, the stock is uh, in the beginning went down a little uh, bit in the first three uh, minutes um, it found a support at the big round number fifty dollars and made here a reversal bar so I just placed uh, my entry for long one cent over the high of uh, this bar should the buyers prove me they have interest in the stock and can continue to drive the stock back it worth uh, my money my stop loss is, o is is only one bar but when I have a winner I can gain lots of bars in my uh, direction uh, let's uh, move to the five minutes chart just to get a, a good perspective of uh, the whole day action so from there the stock didn't look back and finish the day at the high of the day after running about thirteen dollars up more than one hundred percent it started up forty five percent finished one hundred one percent that was a great trade for for me personally and my traders so sniff around news that sent waves in the stocks in the pre-market session fundamental news plus technical reaction are the best ingredients to ensure you are looking on a stock with explosive potential like NAANAB All right, hot stocks on the radar for Wednesday, and let's just switch to uh, the pre-market uh, actions. So let's take a look on a couple of the big movers um, after hours. Uh, first of all, Barracuda, which is C-U-D-A, CUDA, uh, actually tumbled 6.7% in the extended session. That was after the company released its last quarter's result. Also, MU, Micron. Um, went down a, a almost 5% in after hours session. The company said it's going to issue $1 billion in new shares. And of course, Delta Airlines hasn't moved yet, but it's going to be volatile uh, today. It's going to supply a good environment for trading as the company set to release its earnings ahead of the opening bill. Thank you all for watching. Have a great trading day and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.